Okay, <laughs> this is Garrett. It's my day off of work, and Jesus said we're recording videos. This is going to be a very difficult video. A very hardcore video. A very in-your-face type of a video. This video is going to be about what happened to me on Halloween night. This video is going to be about the demons. This video is going to be about sex. This video is going to be about demonic torture. This video is going to share you, is going to share with you some of the dark, dark, dark things that happen to some of us Christians. And if you're a sensitive kind of a Christian, you probably shouldn't listen to this video. And if you get scared really easy, don't listen to this video. If you're a Christian woman and the topic of demons and sex and sexuality is a little bit delicate to you, don't listen to this video. Just turn it off. But for everyone else, let's get started. Halloween was a couple days ago, and it was one of the worst nights of my entire life. That includes nights in jail. That includes nights in prison. That includes when I found out my wife was going to divorce me or my wife was trying to cheat on me. And it, in, it includes everything. It includes the demons showing up at night and, and trying to scare me and attacking me and touching me and doing things to me. Last Halloween was one of the worst nights of my entire life. And the really sad thing is, I can't even tell you the truth about everything because it's too graphic. The Lord wants me to watch my language. He wants all of us to watch our language when we do ministry work. So, with God's grace, let me watch my language. And I'll try to hint to you what happened. So here we go. First of all, I want you to know when I woke up on Halloween day, I did not know it was Halloween. I had no idea. I wasn't even thinking about it. I really wasn't. And I was doing badly. And when I woke up, I was under fleshly and demonic attack. And I started drinking energy drinks real slowly. And I got high on energy drinks. Now, if you don't understand that, use our YouTube channel and type in the search window, energy drinks, and go study them. And then I started um, watching some uh, bad websites. I, I want to watch my language, but I got to tell you what happened. So let's just call them bad websites, adult websites. Then I hear the doorbell ring, and I get dressed, and I run to the door, and there's kids trick-or-treating, and I go, oh, it's Halloween. Oh, no. I didn't know it was Halloween. <laughs> So I went back to drinking energy drinks and I was watching um, X-rated websites and, you know, I'm touching myself, of course. That's, that's a no-brainer. We all know that. And it's getting worse and worse. And the lust is getting worse and worse. So I start drinking another energy drink. <clears throat> 
And this allows some very wicked demons to enter me. We have videos on this topic. Go check them out. And I'm watching bad websites, you know, for a few hours, and the lust is getting off the charts. And the demons are attacking me. They're attacking my mind. They're attacking my thoughts. They're living in my right leg. Now, this video isn't about that, but there's a demon in my right leg. There's a demon right now in my right arm and my right hand. He's there right now. He just moved. Um, and he was there that night. Well, let me watch my language, but now, now there's a demon in my private parts. I got videos on that. Use our YouTube channel and study what that demon does. And there's a demon in my throat. And there's a demon in my stomach. And there's a demon in my left hand. Because the person's masturbating, so the demon's in your hand. We, we have videos on that too. And I wasn't even thinking it's Halloween. I was so high on energy drinks and so lustful. And the lust is getting worse and worse and worse. If you haven't experienced that, you might not know how bad it can get. But I know for some of you, you have gone through these attacks. I've talked to you on the phone. I've talked to you on the internet. Not only that, this is worldwide. This isn't just Garrett. This is worldwide. So now what I did is I started drinking some beer. So I'm really, really high on energy drinks. The demons are in my mind, and my mind is all frazzled. My thoughts are all frazzled. My imaginations are all wicked and evil. And I'm watching bad websites for a few hours, and the lust is out of control. It's uncontrollable as more demons enter me. Now the sun goes down. It gets dark. Um, no one else came to my door. Um, we had no more trick-or-treater children. So that was a blessing because I'm about to have one of the worst nights of my entire life. And uh, now I'm sipping on beer and I'm getting drunk while on energy drinks. And if you've never done that before... Oh, praise God. Praise God if you've never done that before. When you're really high on energy drinks or coffee and you start drinking alcohol, <laughs> I'm laughing with tears. I'm laughing because I'm crying. So, I'm sitting there touching myself for hours and the demonic attacks are getting worse and worse. Now, I'm drunk and high at the same time. I've got a multitude of demons inside of me. If I had to guess, I would guess 30. And the demons start to rape me sexually now if you don't believe me um, just ask God if Garrett's telling you the truth yeah just ask God I mean don't make a big deal out of it if you think I'm a liar if you think I make these things up just ask God it's that simple so now I'm really drunk and I'm really high and I'm really lustful and, and when I say lust, I don't mean one kind of lust. I mean seven or eight different kinds of lust. I got videos all about this. So I'm lusting after this. And I'm lusting after that. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to talk dirty on the microphone. I'm a child of God. You're a child of God. I love you. I respect you. We don't talk dirty. We're not allowed to talk dirty, and you better not be talking dirty. So I'm lusting after this thing, and I'm lusting after that, and I'm lusting after this third thing, and I'm lusting after this fourth thing that I'm thinking of in my imagination. 
and I'm lusting after this fifth thing and this sixth thing and this seventh thing. So like seven or eight different kinds of lust. Not, not just masturbation. Oh, no, no, no. It goes way, way past that. And now I have a couple of demons raping me. And I'm drinking more beer and I'm getting more drunk while I'm high. And I did something that you're not supposed to do. I started talking to these demons that were raping me. And I want you to know that I learned years and years ago not to talk to the demons. I have videos teaching that you don't talk to the demons. You need to go on our YouTube channel and go get more educated. So I started talking to them and everything got worse. And they're sexually raping me. And this went on for a long time. Like, if you think it lasted only 10 minutes, no. If you think it lasted only one hour, no. No. No, it went on for a long time. Halloween was one of the worst nights of my life. And I'm talking to them, and I'm not supposed to, and I'm more lustful now. It's so bad, human words cannot explain it. I cannot use the English language to explain to you how bad the lust gets. The lust gets so bad, there are no words to explain it. And I'm talking to them while we're having sex. And, gee, and even though I was very high on energy drinks, and even though I was drunk, Jesus uh, spoke to me and he said, and I don't have it memorized, please forgive me, but he said something like this, Garrett, you know better not to talk to them, that's very dangerous. And I got scared. Even though I'm real high, even though I'm real drunk, I got scared because I knew better not to do that. And, and I was doing it. I was talking to them while we're having sex. And I got scared and I stopped. Then 20 minutes later, I started talking to them again. And then I stopped and I got scared. And they're raping me and they're abusing me and they're abusing my body. And they're using my body to do wicked things. Things that you don't talk about. Things that you don't tell anyone about things that you don't share with other people. You see, you thought, it, you thought you had it bad? Well, there's other Christians doing bad also. It's not just you. So I would try to stop talking to them, but I was so lustful, I would go ahead and talk to them again. Then I would try to stop, tell Jesus I'm sorry. I, remember, I'm real high and real drunk and real lustful. And by the way, there was a lot more going on in my bedroom than that. I just can't talk about it. I don't want you to think that that's all that was going on. No, there was a lot more going on than that. And it's now 10 o'clock at night. And they're sexually abusing me. They're psychologically abusing me. They're abusing my body, my whole body. They're abusing my body. They're using my body to fulfill their lusts. And I'm more drunk now. And I'm more high now. And about 11 o'clock at night, I was still being raped, still everything else. Everything else was still going on. And somehow I was told in the spirit realm that this half male, half female demon was going to show up in my bedroom and do bad things to me. Bad sexual things. And... Um, about 50% of me wanted him to show up. 
because I was high and drunk and super, super lustful. I was not possessed. A chosen one cannot be possessed. But I had a lot of demons inside of me and about half of me, about half of whatever Garrett is, wanted this male-female demon to show up to have more sex with me. And the other half of Garrett was scared and said no and was scared when I talked with Jesus and I, I said, I'm scared. And it wanted to show up. It was trying to get permission. It was in my bedroom on the right-hand side uh, by the door. That's where it was trying to materialize. And, and I was scared, but I wanted him slash her to come have sex with me. That's how bad it was getting Halloween night. So I wanted to have sex with this spirit. It was going to be a, um, this spirit was going to be a super, well, let me watch my language. Okay, this demon was going to be a extremely attractive female that was also half male. And as another hour went by, it was trying to materialize, and I wanted it to, but I didn't want it to, and I was scared, and I asked Jesus for help while I'm being raped. And Jesus told me during this that he stopped the demon from coming because it was going to abuse me real badly. So I'm high, I'm drunk, I'm being raped, I'm doing so badly, human words can't explain it, but I thanked him, and I said, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I wanted the demon to show up to have sex. Yes, I did, but I was thanking Jesus because I was scared, and I didn't want him to show up. You see, there's a bad part of Garrett, and then there's the holy part. And by the way, in case you don't know, um, you have a fleshly half to you, and you have a spirit half to you also in case you haven't learned that yet. And Jesus stopped that demon from showing up as a favor for me, as a gift for me, because Jesus is my creator and he died for me. And all of this evil went on till 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock in the morning or whatever. I don't know. Who knows? And then it all slowly ended as the demons got everything that they wanted. You see, the demons lust after things. And if they can use you to get them, they will. That's if Jesus gives permission now, maybe some of you didn't know that Jesus does give permission. Maybe some of you don't believe me. Maybe some of you haven't learned this yet. Maybe some of you don't read the Bible. But I'm here to tell you that he does. And by the way, I'm not, I'm not the only one going through this. This is also worldwide. There are children of God that are going through these experiences all over the world, not just Garrett. Now, you might be thinking, well, why does Jesus do this to you? Or maybe you're thinking, well, Garrett, it's not Jesus, it's Satan. Garrett, I thought, I thought, Garrett, I thought you knew it's Satan doing this. It's not Jesus. Well, listen, if you believe that, you just made Satan your God. If you actually believe that, you are saying that Satan is sovereign and in control of our lives. If you actually believe that, you're saying that Satan has the authority to come sexually rape us anytime he wants one more thing. If you actually believe all of that, I feel sorry for you. I really do. 
So as these bad things happen to me, Jesus reveals to me why they happen, why he orders it to happen, why he commands it to happen, why he plans it to happen. And it's all for my good. Yes, Romans 8.28 is true. These things are happening for my good. I might make a video, you know, um, what types of good things come from these very difficult experiences, but this video is not about that. This video is about Halloween night. So, to make a long story short, I had towels all over the floor because of the mess. You see, I got brand new carpet in my condo. And I'm trying to keep my condo in really good condition so I can sell it. So I had towels all over the carpet, all over the floor. Why? Garrett, why'd you put towels down everywhere? So the different kinds of messy things would fall on, on the towels and not on the carpet. So the different kinds of messy things that happen for, for, two, for two to four hours wouldn't go on the carpet and ruin the carpet because I, I want to sell the condo in a year or two. So when it was all over with and when it was all done and when I had been abused for three or four or five hours, I had to pick up all the towels and... Um, put them in the washing machine and wash it all. And I had to clean up my condo where other messy things went. And I had to clean it all up. And then for the next few days, I have to practice not being angry at Jesus. I have to practice um, letting the anger go asking for grace to overcome the anger, asking Jesus to explain more and more why he does this to me. Jesus uses the demons like dumb farm animals for his very purposes. We have videos all about this. You should have learned this by now. So I had to do two or three loads of, of laundry in the washing machine to clean up the towels, to clean up my clothes, to clean up everything else that I don't want to talk about, other things I had to clean up. And that's what happened Halloween night. Does God plan this? Yes. Does God foreordain this to happen? Yes. Does God order this to happen? Yes. Does God control the situation down to the microscopic level? Yes. Does God decide when the torture is going to end? Yes. Does God pick up the pieces of my broken life after this happens? Yes. Does God love me? Yes. Is God using this for my good? Yes. All right. Halloween night. Halloween night. Praise God. Okay. I pray this video is teaching you and educating you more. Teaching you more about our real God. Teaching you more about demonic warfare. Teaching you more about how God can use filthy things for your good. Um evil things for your good, bad things for your good, and everything else. I pray this video is going to bless you, bless you, bless you, and bless you more. Amen to that. <laughs>